What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and today we have another VGC style battle using the ICL team that I used back in uh, February. And of course we have the new ICL coming up so I just wanted to give this team a last little feature here before we switch teams in the in the April ICL. Now of course Mega Audino is a good matchup against my opponent's team outside of um, I think he had Heatran on his team but he actually didn't end up bringing it so that's going to work out for sure in this battle. Uh, he goes straight for close combat, trying to target down my Audino. Uh, just thinking that my Audino might be trying to set up a trick room, I think is what he told me he was thinking here. And Audino's not setting up a trick room at all, so I expected him to try to target down Melodic, because a Thunderbolt and a Rock Slide probably would have been enough to KO Melodic, so I used the opportunity to set up with Audino, but since he double targeted it, I really won't get an opportunity to set up any Calm Minds here. Uh, I figured he was just going to go for another close combat into Audino, so that's a good opportunity to switch an each slash. And he does go for Thunderbolt onto Melodic this time, so um, but Melodic can take one of those, which is nice. And at this point, Rotom's HP is so low with the Life Orb, only two more attacks uh, from that will it'll KO itself at that point. Um, and I wanted to go just straight for Scald onto the Terrakion here because I wanted to make sure I brought him down to a Sash. And on the off chance, if he did have Sash, I would burn. I could have a chance of burning him too, but he actually didn't have a Sash, so I'm going to KO it immediately. Uh, against Rotom and Suicune, Melodic can't do much, but it can wall Suicune, so I decided to save it. I wanted to see what his last Pokemon was that he brought. And I switched back in Audino, knowing that if Suicune's going to go for Snarls and things, that just gives Audino a chance to support Aegislash while hopefully I get hit by a Fire type attack and set up. Um, now, he did predict that I was just going to try to Shadow Ball his Rotom. And right here, I think he predicted that I was going to switch up and attack the Suicune, but I did not want to risk that. I'm just going to go straight for my stance change to switch back into defensive form. Uh, using the King Shield allows me to dodge the Snarl, and I actually want to get hit by Snarl because if I can get my Weakness Policy activated, that'll give me plus one after the drop from Snarl. So, and not, I didn't know if he had Snarl or not, so I was going to use that as an opportunity to get some HP back with Draining Kiss. But without any uh, Calm Minds, it's just too weak, really. That was also the first time that I've ever had Healer activate to uh, heal an opponent of a status condition. Uh, my Eater Slash was burned by the Scald. And I actually was able to get rid of that, so that was kind of cool. I don't ever see that activated, really. And on the following turn, uh, he finally does go for Snarl, and I really wanted to make sure I could take that and anything that the Cresselia wanted to go for. Thinking that he would go for Snarl again, I did use Helping Hand to kind of negate the effect of Snarl. So that way for the turn, I did have plus two in a way. Um, but just, that's just for the turn, of course. And I'm able to finish Cresselia off, which is fantastic because once I get rid of the Rotom, uh, Melodic will be able to beat Suicune one-on-one. -on -one. So it was really important to me that I was able to support Aegislash here and finish off the Rotom. Now he does go straight for Scald onto uh, Audino, which is sucky because I would have liked to keep on using Helping Hand and, and even Heal Pulse and keep Eater Slash nice and healthy. But my last Pokemon that I brought was actually Talonflame, and I thought Brave Birding Suicune here was way too obvious, so I tried to Brave Bird the Rotom, and he makes a fantastic play in protecting his Rotom and then Scalding. Uh, I do get off a pretty decent chunk with Shadow Ball against Suicune. Um, and it is nice to carry a slower Aegislash just for that. And even with plus one, I'm able to bring him down under half, forcing him to use a Citrus Berry. And on this following turn, okay, now's a good time to go. To, I'm going to try to attack the, the Rotom again. If he does go for Protect, which he did try, you only have that 50-50 shot. Uh, and I didn't think it would make sense here to go for King Shield again. If his only attacking options are Scald and um, Snarl, of course. Then I figured I could live, maybe, the Snarl, but he actually ends up targeting down Audino, uh, excuse me, he targets Aegislash with the Scald instead of my Talonflame, which I thought was an interesting choice. Of course, this allows me to hit him on the following turn with the Brave Bird, and of course, KO myself, unfortunately, but that's okay because now with Melodic versus uh, Suicune, I can Toxic him and I can recover my HP, whereas he can only burn me and he, he doesn't have any way to recover his HP outside of rest, and he doesn't have a Chesto Berry, so at the end of the day, I will certainly prevail in that battle. So we do have a little miniature stall war here in the very end, but I end up triumphing, so that was actually a fantastic match, and I wanted to just give a little shout out to him. Uh, I was on Twitter asking for 
a couple of master balls because I was trying to catch some legendaries and soft resetting was such a pain. Uh, he provided me with a few, so we had a great match and I got some master balls and we had a good day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Be sure to leave a like if you did and be sure to stay tuned as I will be building a new ICL team for the uh, April ICL. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye bye now.